This is an absolute beginner's guide to getting started in mixed reality so that you can transform your gameplay from first to third person as quickly as possible. Now, I'm not gonna go super in depth and I'll try to keep this as cheap and as easy as possible without using a green screen. But here's the hardware you will need. This is a PC VR guide, so you're gonna need a decent PC because you're essentially been running the game twice. And I highly recommend, in fact, let's say it's mandatory to use it in video graphics card because it comes with a built-in background remover that will make life so much easier. And I've had success with a 1080 Ti, 2080 Super, and now, 47. Then it's probably a good idea to get a VR headset. Now anything that runs Steam VR is good and I've used a Lenovo Explorer, Quest 2 and 3 and a Pico 4. In terms of a camera I'd recommend going with at least 1080p. Now I started with a cheap Logitech webcam and then eventually moved on to a Canon EOS R50. Now depending on your camera of choice you might also need a capture card and a dummy battery. Now even though I did say that we won't be using a green screen, if your background is really really similar to your headset colors then you might have some problems with clipping and your head disappearing. So if that's happening, then you might want to consider investing in a pull-down green screen or just hanging a sheet over the wall. But because we're gonna be using the software to remove the background, this is more just to give it a helping hand. And then the final one is just getting some good lighting. If you can get some natural light and just your overhead lights, that should be sufficient. But later down the lines, you can invest in studio lighting. And I'll put on screen now what it looks like to go with a budget option versus a more expensive option. In terms of the software, we're gonna need Steam. This is gonna run our games and live. Then we're gonna pick up Live. Now this is the cornerstone software for mixed reality filming. You can download this from Steam and then create your free account. We're also gonna need a supported game and I'll leave a link in the description where you can find Live's 147 supported games. And optionally, you can also download OVR advanced settings. This allows you to rotate your play space without having to come back through the calibration process. If you are using a standalone headset, then you'll also want a way to connect your headset to your PC. I I prefer using virtual desktop, but I've also had success using Steam Link, which is free. And then we're gonna need a way to record our screen. And I personally use OBS or open broadcast software, which is completely free. And there's loads of tutorials online. So that's why I picked that one. Okay, now that we've got all of our hardware and software out of the way, let's go through it in the correct order to get it up and running. First, we're gonna start with Nvidia broadcast. So here we just wanna go over to camera and make sure our correct camera is selected. And then we're gonna choose background removal. If that's all good, then you can close it and move on. Now, then we're gonna take a step back, put on our VR headset, and connect using virtual desktop, Steam Link, or Air Link. Then if you want, you can either launch OVR advanced settings. This will also open Steam VR. Or if you're not gonna use that, then just open Steam VR. Then from the Steam menu, open up Live. And if this is your first time, you'll need to create an account and select Mixed Reality Capture. Here you'll want to add a new camera and select Nvidia Broadcast Camera from earlier and select ARGB and match the resolution to your camera. Now go down to your output and make sure you have the correct desktop you want to record in. So for calibration, what I do is I walk up as close as I can to my camera and stick my right hand through my play space, point directly at the camera and pull the right trigger. Then I go back and do my back left corner and also the right corner. Now because we're using Nvidia Broadcast, the complete background will be black, so make sure you're not tripping over anything. As a little tip, if you kind of stand in front or put your legs in front of the controller, then you get a bit more bearing of where you are. Go to position and just make sure that your controllers are lined up. The big thing that I always need to change is the latency and normally I drag this to over 100. Hit save and then we can launch and sync our game. Then what I do is I just pull my headset up, open OBS, select the desktop that I want to capture and hit record. Now also never use the home button to reset your position. If you need to change your orientation, use OVR advanced settings, which you can open in the Steam menu. Now a bunch of these games do really cool things by themselves. For example, in Kayak Mirage, you get placed in a kayak. Or for Broken Edge, you have armor and normally there's a way to tweak this in the in-game menu. And the final thing I'll say is just have a bit of patience. There might be a few crashes, some restarts or calibrations and things just go out of whack for no reason. If you need any more help, feel free to ask me a question below and I'll do my best to help. But you can also check out the Live Forums or Atom Bomb Body's YouTube channel. And she has a bunch of really in-depth guides on things like this, OVR, and advanced green screening.